Hey guys, Sam here, and two things. One, I hope you guys like the intro, and if you guys don't know what the music was, it was Daft Punk's Robot Rock. Seriously, it's really underrated. You should really check it out. And number two, today I am going to be doing a review on Has Been Hotel. And yes, I know, the hype has died down. I'm probably really late talking about this. And trust me, I actually wanted to get this video out a long time ago, like a couple weeks like after the video was published. But... A lot of complications arose, I had work to do, and hey, I'm in college, what do you expect? So, luckily, I have some free time during this weekend, it's before Thanksgiving break, so I figured this might be the best time to finally get the video out, and give you guys my opinion on Has Been Hotel. Now, for some of you that don't know, Has Been Hotel is a cartoon created by Vivian Marie Madrano, aka Vivzy Pop. And before Hasbin Hotel came into fruition, Vivian already had a few projects under her belt. Like, she was the creator of the webcomic Zoophobia, which last I checked had kind of mixed reception. And she also even worked on the DreamWorks TV online animated show Too Loud, which I've heard from some people was kind of a ripoff of The Loud House. But at least she's actually had work in the past. But now, here is her magnum opus, the project that she had been building on for over a year. Like, back in 2018, she already had released a trailer that was going to, like, show, like, yeah, there's going to be, like, a real episode from this show. And now, we finally have it. So when the pilot finally did premiere this year, many people were actually surprised by it. Some people thought it was funny, some people thought it was clever, some people thought the animation was astounding. Some people thought the voice acting was tremendous, some people thought the songs were really nice. It seemed like a really solid pilot, and it actually could be something that might turn into a full-length animated series if it's picked up by the right people. But that's what most people in the animation community think of this pilot. Now, what do I think of it? Well... <laughs> well, kind of the exact same way. But hold on. One, I did not follow the gay public opinion. I watched the entire thing from beginning to end. It's a half hour long, so it's not like a big gigantic movie or anything like that. And two, I think there's a few other stuff I think I can point out that I don't think the other reviewers out there have pointed out so much. Now, I know they've talked about a lot of things in this pilot. I'm sure they talked a lot about the animation, which is definitely splendid. I'm sure they talked about how unique this concept is, which it definitely is. Like, actually having, like, you know, let's say a rehabilitation center, like a little hotel for sinners, right, directly in hell. So it can actually limit the sinners that come here so they don't get exterminated. Yeah, the concept definitely is good. And I'm sure some people have already talked about the musical numbers too and i'm sure they probably have also talked about the really funny moments but i'm sorry i just happen to have the same opinion i really do legitimately like the animation the characters vocal deliveries and the funny moments in this pilot and just because i happen to have the same opinion as the other ones doesn't mean i legitimately just stole it I mean, I really did watch this pilot from beginning to end. It was a half hour long. I sat down not knowing what to expect. And when I watched it, I was legitimately entertained by it. I did enjoy it. I laughed. And I think it actually really is a good pilot. And again, like those other people have said, animation is splendid, voice acting tremendous, and its funny moments are definitely well done. Like, really well done. Like, there are some really legitimately good funny stuff in this and what can you do my effeminate fellow i can suck your dick ha no your loss and that's not the only funny moment that's in this video there's also funny facial expressions there's also really funny line deliveries and they also hit you with one joke after another hey go fuck yourself only if you watch me oh my gosh welcome to the happy hotel you 
You're going to love it here! I lost the ability to love years ago. And the story itself is very easy to explain, and it's actually really well structured. The story is that the entire setting is in hell, like actual hell, and the princess of hell named Charlie wants to try and find a new way to actually rehabilitate sinners so they won't get exterminated every single year and possibly maybe find a way all the way back up to the happy place. So along with her friend Vaggy, they come up with this idea of a big gigantic hotel which helps the sinners. But of course everyone scoffs at her thinking that <laughs> no one's gonna give two shits about it. But it turns out that her luck may have changed when some kind of radio demon comes into the hotel and says that he wants to jazz it up in his own way, even though it turns out that he actually has a backstory where he actually took over a lot of parts of hell with his own little, you know, charms or whatever it is. And honestly, he's actually my favorite character. Like, the Radio Demon not only has a really unique voice, but his design is also really fun too. I mean, why do you think I actually had myself look like him in the thumbnail? <laughs> And there's also a subplot in the pilot where there's some kind of gang turf war that involves this snake-like boss creature who has an army full of eggs, which is kind of weird and awesome at the same time, and it's got me thinking that maybe all eggs actually do go to hell, even the ones that were in Gumball. Although they did technically blackmail Gumball and embarrass him all over the internet just for rejecting their invitation to join the rejected fan club. Okay, okay, I'm thinking too hard about this. Anyway, overall, I really did enjoy this pilot. I really think it's solid. Although, I think my only nitpick with it is that while I do like a lot of the characters, I really didn't get into the snake creature and his egg army. I don't know. Maybe it's a bit too weird for me. But they do get a couple of funny lines every once in a while. And of course, it does lead to some really nice action scenes. Like, the animation, again, is still splendid. Especially, like, when you show the turf gang war and stuff like that. Like, tossing grenades, you know, killing all the eggs, you know, making them explode, all that. So, yeah, it's fun. And I think the snake creature could probably be, like, you know, a fun character if they do have him around. Maybe, like, show more depth to him, I guess. But compared to the other characters that we saw in this pilot, I really didn't see him sticking out in my mind as much as I as much as the other characters did like the radio de and demon definitely sticks out of my mind the snake creature not so much but aside from that the rest of the pilot is really solid in every single department the animation department the joke department the character department I actually really did like most of the characters in this pilot again most of them like Charlie, Vaggy, Angel Dust, the radio demon, Nifty, Husker I really do like these characters and I do legitimately think that this show could actually become a long-running series. Like, maybe it might be seen on YouTube, or maybe it could actually be seen on one of those adult cartoon channels, like Adult Swim. Like, hey, this hellishly-looking cartoon can actually be a good thing for Adult Swim. You know, instead of cartoons like this. Like, this one tried to look like hell, but this one was ass. This one is good. Ass. Good. Good. Ass. I'm trying to sink in the King Star shit. Oh, and Adult Swim really needs to add some good shows before they die off. Oh, and it turns out that the CEO of Adult Swim doesn't like female creators because he's a fucking sexist. Maybe he didn't get his dick sucked enough. Oh! Did I use too many curse words? Oh, oh okay, 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 here we go. Not for kids! Not for kids! Not for kids! Definitely not for kids! Not for kids! Not for kids! Am I doing it right, YouTube? Am I doing it right? Am I going through your regulations right? Am I doing it 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 right? Sorry, I just had to let out some frustration. Okay. Anyway, final score for this pilot is a 9. It is a very solid pilot. I highly recommend it. And if you want to check it out, the link to it is in the description down below. Okay, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And once again, if you want to see the video I just showed you, the link to it is in the description down below. And if you want to check out other reviews, which are much longer and really do go in-depth in this pilot, you can go check those out. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'm Sam Dietrich, and mwah, good night, everybody. Man, it doesn't have the same flair as NTC. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. <laughs>